So hi, uh, let's uh, welcome you all. Uh, let me welcome you all to another uh, lecture series in uh, programming in C and data structures. So in the last lecture, we have seen the basic uh, blocks for computer, and uh, we have seen what is problem solving and how to write uh, an algorithm to solve a particular problem. In continuation to that, we will see few examples on writing an algorithm, and we will see. Uh, uh, how to convert the algorithm into flowchart and pseudocode. So let's have a quick recap of the last class. Um, first, what is an algorithm that we have discussed earlier? So it's a step-by-step -step or sequence of instructions that is used to solve a particular problem. It is called as algorithm. And uh, in other words, it can, be, uh, it can be defined as an informal language that helps the programmers in solving the problem. And this algorithm, will uh, help the programmer in developing the pseudocode. So based on this pseudocode, you will implement the uh, program. So this algorithm is similar to everyday uh, English language that we used to talk. Next, let us see a few examples on writing an algorithm. So here the first example is you need to write an algorithm to determine a student's final grade and indicate whether it is passed passing or failing. So the final grade is calculated as the average of four marks. So let us assume uh, you have got scores for four subjects, namely maths, English, Tamil, and science. So now you have to uh, calculate the student's grade based on these four marks. So let us write an algorithm. So first, what, I, what have I told in the uh, example that we have discussed? Remember the uh, problem of preparing a uh, lemon juice. First, you have to gather the ingredients, right? Similarly, you have to collect the inputs, input data for writing an algorithm. Here, what will be the input data? If you want to calculate the final grade, the input would be the four subject marks, namely English, Tamil, Maths, and uh, Science. So initially, you have to gather or obtain the input, which is the marks of the four subjects. Next, what you have to do? So I have written like input a set of four marks. This is your first step. So what will be the next step in the sequence? You have to calculate the average. So how do we calculate the average of these four numbers? First, you have to sum these four numbers, correct? You have to add these four numbers and you have to divide the added value by four. Since the total number of subjects considered here is four, you have to divide the sum by four. So the second step is to calculate the average by summing and dividing by four. And what will be the third step in the sequence? You have next. You have to award, uh, award the grade. Either you have to uh, mark the student as pass or fail. So if the value average value is less than fifty. It means student has failed in failed in this course. If the average value is greater than fifty, you can assume the student has passed in this course. The same thing is mentioned here. So if the average is below fifty, you have to print fail. If it is uh, greater than 50, you have to pass, print pass. So here, all the, we have mentioned three steps, right? All these three steps has to be executed or it has to be carried out in the same order it is mentioned. So changing the sequence will not obtain the correct result and changing the sequence will not solve the problem. So before going to the uh, pseudocode, uh, let me see what a flowchart is. So flowchart is nothing, uh, but it is a pictorial re representation of the algorithm. So algorithm is general English. So it will be quite difficult for everyone to understand who do not have profound knowledge on English. They will feel it difficult to understand the algorithm. But unlike algorithm, flowchart gives you a pictorial representation. So if, if everyone will have a, a better understanding of uh, the steps involved in solving the particular problem. So since I have said it is a pictorial representation, so to draw the picture, we will use several symbols, right? So here are a few of the commonly used symbols. The flowchart is not confined only to the symbols which are displayed in this slide. We will use several other symbols also, but these six symbols are considered the commonly used symbols for creating a flowchart. So the oval shape denotes the beginning or end of this program, start or end of the program. The parallelogram, it represents the input and the output operation. So if you are receiving the input from the user, you will mention it inside the parallelogram. Similarly, if you are displaying it to the user, you will mention it inside the parallelogram. 
this rectangle operation this rectangle box denotes the operation to be carried out for example in the previous example we have discussed what are the operation that we are performing we are performing addition we are performing average operation so these two operations will be mentioned inside this rectangular box so this diamond symbol is used to uh, mention the decision statement so what decision you are going to um, make similarly in the previous example what decision you are going to make if the uh, average value is greater than 50 it means the student is passed if it is less than 50 it means the student is failed so those decision statements will be mentioned inside this diamond uh, symbol so hybrid uh, it denotes an output operation uh, flow lines are used to indicate the direction in which the program logic flows so these are the commonly used symbols in the flow chart now let us see uh, how to draw a flow chart for the previous example so this these two uh, symbols oval shaped symbols are used to indicate beginning and end i said right similarly here start and stop which me which marks the beginning and end of the program which is represented using the oval symbol what is the next step or the, what's the first step we have written in the algorithm you have to get the input marks so those input marks are mentioned inside the parallelogram so after receiving the input marks you have to calculate the average right so average it is an operation so if it is an operation you have to mention it inside the rectangular box similarly here the operation average so sum of four marks divided by four it is mentioned inside the rectangle so after calculating the average you have to make a decision whether the student is pass or fail so decision if the grade is less than 50 it means student is fail and if the grade is greater than 50 student is pass so this decision is given inside diamond symbol so the output operation is mentioned what is the output either you will print pass message or fail message which is present inside the hybrid box so finally stop see the order in which the operations are to be carried out is mentioned using the flow lines so this is how you draw a flow chart for an algorithm hope you understood how to draw an a flow chart so in the next session we will discuss how to write a pseudocode for the given problem thank you